Welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time, I welcome you in a very special way. Please kindly subscribe to my channel just by hitting on the subscribe button below. You don't need money to do that. It is completely free. Click also on the notification bell below so that you can be notified when a new video is posted. The emaciated girl you see on the screen is only 12 years old. Her name is Joy Emmanuel, but unfortunately, there is no joy in this sad story. This girl was said to have been caged for eight months by her guardians, identified as Emmanuel Bassi and his wife, Esther Bassi. Sorry, Esther Emmanuel. Joy was also said to have been denied food throughout the period of her confinement. It was reported in the news that the couple took the action because she is mentally unstable which was later proved to be false by the police. This incident took place in Sokoto, located in the extreme northwest of Nigeria, on the border with the Republic of Niger. The good news is that the girl has been rescued and this evil couple arrested by the police. When the girl was rescued, she was too frail to walk because she was emaciated. She was met, according to the cops, in a very horrible situation, urinating and excreting inside the cage. The girl has long been taken to the hospital for treatment. I think there is more to this story. The question is, how can a human being do this to a child? This is a clear case of child abuse. No matter the situation, no one deserves to go through this. It is inhuman. It is wicked. It is unchristian and ungodly. Where is our humanness? Where is our humanity? Where is our sense of compassion? What has happened to our conscience? Where is respect for human life? I have always advocated that every human person should be treated with respect and dignity because we all are created in the image and likeness of God. Maybe this story can help us rethink the way we treat our fellow human beings in a world where we can be anything why not be kind? What do we gain by being so mean, nasty, and cruel? The world will be such a better place when we treat each other nicely. Whatever you do to your fellow human being, you are doing it to God. It is so sad that in our world, there are people who have been kidnapped and kept as sex slaves. There are people who may be currently facing abuse and neglect like this child. And don't even care if they are your child or another person's child. No matter who they are, their lives matter. Life belongs to God. We have no right to tamper with other people's life. Freedom is a God-given right that we enjoy. You have no right to deny the other person their own freedom. As human beings, when we see people suffering or going through pain, our first instinct is to be moved by pity, compassion, and tears for their situation and see what we can do to help make things better for them. But today, people inflict pain on others and cause them to suffer. I am making this video to appeal to people's conscience. Stop hurting people. Stop causing people pain. Stop destroying people's lives. Stop offending people. Remember, in life, we rise by lifting others. We fall as well by bringing others down. Those who live by the sword shall die by the sword. Do not do unto others what you don't want done to you. Imagine if joy is your child or your loved one or family member. How would you feel? What on earth could have made this infamous couple do this to her? Obviously, had it been she was not rescued, she would have died. What a painful and slow death it would have been for her. Yet, this couple will come out and pretend nothing is happening. If you know or see anybody suffering from this type of treatment, say something. Give law enforcement a tip so that the person could be rescued. There are so many evils in our world today. Let us be on our toes. Let us be watchful and alert. Let us say no to evil. Let us fight evil. Let each of us be the change we want to see in the world. Let the good we want to see in our society begin from us. Having said this, I want to encourage you. If there is any person you have made their lives uncomfortable, unpleasant, miserable, and painful, 
Go and undo what you have done. If there is any person you are holding captive in whatever shape or form, release the person and set them free. You may not afford to let karma catch up with you. A stitch in time saves nine. A word is enough for the wise. Please take a minute and visit my website at www.venethel.com. You can also catch up on daily news and other educational articles on my blog at www.venethel.com slash blog.